everyone, my name's Emma. I am a third year medical student studying in Sydney, Australia. And today I thought I would talk to you about how I use Notion. And please excuse the cat sound. So if you've watched any of my vlogs, I vlog sort of my day in the life and weeks in life as a med student, you would know that I have a sort of on again, off again relationship with journaling. I think journaling is so important. It's such a great tool for grounding. It's such a great tool for just checking in with yourself, memory keeping, practicing gratitude, all of these things. But I still find myself sort of dipping in and dipping out of the habit of journaling regardless of how important I think it is or helpful, I find it for me and my mental health. It kind of feels like at this point that I've tried everything. I've done handwritten, sort of unstructured, just brain dumping. I've done some bullet journaling, which I still do to keep myself organized, but not really reflecting. I have done the five minute journal and I still touch base with that. Um, I've tried to do prompts. I've tried to do scheduled journaling or just when I feel like it. And I still never really have something click. I think what it is, is finding that time to sit down and actually write, which can be really good, but it's a habit that I'm not great at making. But there is something that I always have on me, and that's either my phone or my laptop. So I got to thinking, why don't I write or type my journals out? Does it really have to be something that's handwritten? Obviously, going analog is good for you, but if I really just want to journal, why don't I take down that sort of barrier to finding time at my desk to write? And I always have my phone and or my laptop on me, so why not give it a go? And then I remembered the app Notion. So if you don't already know, Notion is this app that is kind of taking the study and productivity world by storm. Videos have been done by all of your top sort of study or med YouTubers. And um, I have dabbled in and out of it for my note taking in classes, but I know that it can be used for organization and people use it for a lot of other things too. It's a really customizable place and space and I'll show you the sort of light customization that I've done. And what's really great is you can share templates back and forth. So if your favorite creator makes a template or does their notes a certain way, they can share you that sort of rough draft. And I will link my template down below for my journaling that I do using Notion. And I was actually kind of pondering in the back of my mind using a digital note taking or a digital journaling system when I was watching a video by this creator called Rowena. And I really like Rowena for her sort of healthy productivity and her like mental health and self growth um, type of videos. She's really great, go watch her. But she did a video all about how she sets up her notion and there's something she said in it about it being a series of databases or something along the lines that really sort of clicked in my head as a way of, hey, I can use this. Because what is a journal if not a sort of record or database of your feelings across various times in your life? So, so far I've set up my Notion journal and I'll take you to that in just a second. Um, but I've been using it for a few months and I have really, really enjoyed it. I'll walk you through the features that I like, but I have found that it just made it so much easier. If I'm on the go, I can open the app and make a couple bullet points or I can actually sit down at the end of the day and write something. It doesn't feel like I'm obligated to, but it's always there. Um, and I'll show you the ways that I use it to sort of track different things that I'm interested in learning about myself and how I'm going. So let's jump on over to my desk. Ooh. Let's find a spot to put you. Okay, one second. Okay, <laughs> we are all set. Uh, this is reminiscent of my Google video. Okay, so this is my journal page. This is my Notion. If you haven't seen it before, Notion is pretty great. You can add new pages. You can have sort of home bases, link pages to each other. I will link some good Notion tutorials down below because I'm not going to be able to cover everything in this video. I will link this template down below, my sort of thoughts of life, my journal. Um, and you can see I've chosen like a pretty Studio Ghibli background and added like a little quote. Um, I will link it down below so you can kind of just copy from that. But if you want to know how to actually set your own up, this is how you do it. <laughs> so you're going to want to add a page after you make your own notion. It's free for students, which is excellent. Add a page and you can just call it, just call it journal. <laughs> and then it's essentially like you're setting up a new, um, 
Excel sheet. So you just go to a table um, and what I do is you want to set your sort of columns. The columns I use is I have a title for the journal entry um, and then I use the tag function to tag different emotions. So you can set what you were feeling at the time of writing the journal. And the fun thing is you can edit these so that they have like colors um, and I'll show you through mine when I go through it in the table, I can kind of see like a trend in how I'm feeling. Um, I can see that there's like a few days in a row where I'm a little bit tired and then like somewhere I'm feeling quite introspective um, and you can kind of see these lovely sort of patterns um, and you can change them to sort of match the colors that you think would go best. Obviously you're also gonna want to have a date um, so you can add the property type here and choose date. Um, and that's pretty much the only ones that I use. I have date, theme or title, and emotions. Um, and you can have those in any order that you want. And then the biggest difference that makes this really sort of unintimidating um, and fun is then you add a view, I don't know if it's fun, but I think so, and click calendar. And then it will auto-populate your journal as a calendar. Um, so then anytime you want to add a new reflection, so if I wanted to reflect today, um, I'm making a video, and how am I feeling? Excited. Um, and then you can just start typing. You can even assign it a little icon. Ta-da! You can add a cover photo if you'd like, um, and you can just start typing. go and then it'll always show up in your journal on a specific date um, and there's something about that that I like I can scroll through and I can kind of see you know the gaps that I didn't reflect the weeks that I was actually really good with journaling and just pop in as I go another trick is you can choose to make templates for yourself so I've decided that I wanted to get a little bit better in my journal practice with gratitude. So I created a little gratitude template that will auto-populate with a few questions that I can fill in whenever I want. So what are you grateful for? Listing three things and something that made today great. A very quick and easy journal entry. And it's nice because then if I really want to get into it, I can just click gratitude and start going. I don't need to set this up every time. Um, you, I also have one for a beginning of the month check-in, um, which I'm hoping to start kind of introducing um, looking about last month, top three things that happened, what's a challenge going forward, what am I looking forward to, and what do I want to focus on in the next month. Again, something set up already for me to make life a bit easier, and you can just set those up when you have the time rather than having to think about them every single time that you start a new journal entry. So I kind of have the three modes. I have the general, just writing what I want to write, the gratitude, and the monthly check-in. And there you have it. It's really, really simple. Notion can feel very intimidating and like it's got a huge learning curve. So definitely check out the videos below. But I do think you can just simply set up this process as a bit of an intro into using Notion as a journal instead of um, sort of the productivity machine that other people use it for. I have been using it for a few months and I have found it to be actually really rewarding. I think I'm journaling and connecting with myself a little bit more often and it has felt like a habit that's a bit easier to keep up because like I said, it, it's always with you. I have it on my phone because the app is free for your phone as well as then on my laptop and so I always have it with me. The bonus of it being digital means that I can also insert pictures so if I'm reflecting on spending a really great time with friends or something and I have pictures from the night out, I can put them in um, and kind of make it like a digital scrapbook. It's not the most customizable in terms of making everything super, super pretty, but you can change colors and text and you can use bold headings. There's tons of options, um, but I just wanted to show you how I got it working as a journal. And yeah, <laughs> so 
that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video useful, helpful, or interesting. Comment down below, pretty much anything you want to comment down below, but let me know if you journal and how you do that. Are you someone that writes pen and paper all the time, or have you started using a digital system as well? Um, like I said, my name's Emma. Give this video a like if you want to see more of content like this. Make sure you subscribe so you know every time I upload and when I go live and do sort of study with me's and things like that and I will see you in the next one. Bye!